Welcome to the capital of Argentina, Buenos Aires in South America. But I'm going to take you on a journey throughout the northeast of this country to find out a little bit more of the fauna, fauna, and hopefully a bit more of the culture and architecture that is in Argentina. When visiting any city, Buenos Aires is no exception, where the politics happen is a good place to start. Center of it all, Plaza de Mayo, where Evita gave her final speech, and this gives you a good impression of what to expect for the rest of the journey. Here, Buenos Aires is noisy, busy, political, and slightly grubby around the sides. Buenos Aires is a mirror of any Spanish colonial city. Narrow streets, colorful builds, affluent sculptures with a strong Catholic influence. While in New Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina has adopted a more modern architecture, yet still with the flair of its colonial roots. The new finance and business district provides an excellent walk along the main waterway. On every corner, there is something to catch your eye. Be it public displays of art, cute boutique stores, market stores with local crafts, and if you may stumble across the antique quarter of the city, you may just find yourself some excellent bargains. While Argentina is going strong, it is still suffering from a little bit of the recession it experienced just a few years ago. So you're bound to see your currency go a long way. Stopping by Buenos Aires, then make sure you stop by the infamous Evita Museum, where you can learn everything about this young lady who was such a centre part of how Argentina has developed over the last hundred years. This museum is an archive and a celebration of the life of Evita, with film clips from when she was an actress, to her frocks as she gallivanted across the globe. And you also get a sneak peek as to how they used to live. The city isn't just all go, go, go. No, you can definitely escape to a little bit of peace and quiet into one of the gardens that surround and are within the city itself. Perhaps you want to grab yourself a pedal boat and enjoy the sun, or sit in peace and quiet in one of the gardens that has such a range of plants and foliage. When you've done with the piece, go and experience one of the most peculiar parts of Buenos Aires, the whistling buses. Though I warn you, it might take a while. Just one precaution, the drippy air conditioning units throughout the city. Finding accommodation in Buenos Aires is not too difficult. For as long as you book a few days in advance before arriving, you're definitely going to find something. If you're happy with a hostel or maybe a bed and breakfast, then there will always be a room going. This is Spot Bed and Breakfast, where we paid 436 Argentine dollars for two nights. And welcome to Buenos Aires, where we've already spent uh, two or three days. And now we are uh, getting ready to go to our next uh, trip, which is uh, the Iguazu Falls in the north of Argentina. And at the moment, basically, I am reading the uh, Learning Planet uh, book to give us you know, some tips on what to do when we arrive. So, see you there. If you plan on visiting other cities across Argentina, then you want to go to Buenos Aires Domestic Airport. It's just a short bus ride for 17 Argentine dollars, and then from there, well, you can plan your next stop. Ours, well, just follow us.